A very common question that people have is what are the differences between dentures provided by the NHS or those available through a private dental practice? And ultimately, there's very little difference between them. Both do the same job. Both will restore one or more missing teeth. Both will give you the confidence to smile again. And both will potentially restore issues such as a drooping smile that you may have because you've had one or more teeth missing. However, there's a very strong argument to say that you get what you pay for. The dentures provided by the NHS are more than adequate. They perfectly do the job. However, when you go for private dentures, you are footing the entire bill. You're responsible for the total cost. And therefore, the limit to the quality is essentially what you can afford. Now, technically, under the NHS, nothing is without of reach. You can essentially have a denture that is as good as or better than those provided by a private dental practice. However, in reality, due to the constraints on the NHS, the final quality um, that you'll get from a denture provided by the NHS will unlikely be quite as good as that from a private dental practice where you can invest more time into the materials and the design and fit and finish of that set of false teeth. In England, at the time of recording, it costs £269.30 for a band 3 treatment to get yourself a set of false teeth. Compare that to a set of dentures provided by a private dental practice, which costs around about £1,000. So how is it that private dentures can cost around about four times the price? Well, the reality of the situation is the band three treatment that we pay for here in the UK is actually not the true price of the denture. We pay that amount, but the NHS then further subsidize it. But what you've got to factor in there is that there is a limit to the product quality and the time that the denture laboratory can put into making that denture for the price that is being charged for it. Whereas when you go privately, the limit is your budget. The more money you can spend, ultimately, the better quality denture you are going to get from it because you can pay for better quality materials, you can pay for more time for the lab technicians to perfect your denture, and of course you can spend more time for that dentist to sit there, uh, take perfect uh, impressions of your teeth, make sure the denture fits as snugly as possible. So when you opt for private dentures, because you are paying for it, you've got more choice of the materials uh, available to you. You can potentially choose between different types of materials for the teeth, from uh, composites through to porcelain. So the strongest argument to go for private dentures is really the fact that you are going to get a better overall fit and finish generally speaking. And of course, one of the primary reasons that you're likely getting dentures is because the effect that those dentures will have on your smile and the confidence that it will bring you by restoring those missing teeth. So if you can afford to go for private dentures, then it's definitely worth considering because you can potentially get a set of false teeth that you are happier with. But you have to be happy with the investment. Many thousands of people are happy with the dentures that they get provided by the NHS. But with whatever happens, always remember to stick within your financial constraints. There is no point spending thousands and thousands of pounds to get the best looking denture if you simply cannot afford it. You shouldn't put yourself into financial hardship for the benefit of uh, your smile because NHS dentures are perfectly adequate and may, if nothing else, serve for a few years until a time that perhaps you can afford to invest in dentures offered by a private dental practice. <laughs>